Hi YouTube, Hood Ninja again. This is Nerf Changes Update 454 2011 10 a.m. I'm sorry, I don't know why I have p.m. up there. Central Standard Time. Okay. What I have here is considered by some meteorologists to be a rare and wild weather event. Storm unleashes water spouts and thunderstorms along the south shore of Ahu. I don't know how you say that. Oh, Ahu, <laughs> Hawaii, yesterday, as some of the bad weather that has lately assailed the U.S. mainland has now alighted on the Pacific Island. They have videos and stills on the websites, and the links, of course, will be in the description box below. This is an Earth Changes update because I believe it falls into the category. Something somewhere has caused for this to happen, uh, and you want to know my theory? Well, believe it or not, I believe that the government is using harp to vaporize the ocean surface as these bursts of radiation pass over the Pacific. And of course, you are thinking, why? Because the agenda is depopulation, right? So why would they care to even try to stop something like that? Well, it don't fall into their plan as I think, and this is like I said, purely a theory and speculation. Uh, so it cannot happen right now. Also think about this. If so much as one case of radiation sickness was to get out in America, there would be a major crackdown on all of our nuclear plants, of which 31 of them are built just like the Fukushima plant. John DeHart has reported on many strange events happening at many of these plants since the Japan incident, a lot of them being around here in America. Uh, there was actually a movement in the beginning of the Fukushima incident trying to shut down all sorts of possibly faulty or outdated nuclear plants, but that has been suppressed from the mainstream news more and more here lately. Uh, nothing may be nothing may be being done about those faulty or outdated reactors. Remember people, a nuclear reactor is just a giant crock pot in a sense. It boils water using steam power to turn turbines that generate electricity. And I think that using nuclear just to boil some water is ridiculous. But a lot of, uh, a lot of the time some of these nuclear plants go through processes that are sometimes nothing short of taking the first step in weaponizing the fissurable elements of these fuel rods. So that's why they are trying to stop the radiation from hitting us. You see what I'm saying? Well, for now anyway, but they are using harp to heat the ocean surface, create a storm cloud, <clears throat> and then seeding that same cloud in the upper regions of it with salt, dry ice, or silver iodide, uh, depending on what type of cloud it is. And what this will do is cause the tops of the clouds to create frozen water droplets, and then they will fall because the thicker and heavier density. density. Uh, once it hits the lower parts of the cloud where the newly vaporized steam from the ocean is and much warmer, uh, it will melt and bring the clouds down causing much of the radiation to literally get dumped into the Pacific before even touching the west coast. Uh, and what does hit the west coast, I believe, is being turned into snow uh, right now and pretty much placed atop the mountain ridge in the east uh, of California and of course they aren't stopping all of this we have radiation all over us but the point of this story is these little water funnels in Hawaii are possible uh, possibly a result of the earth changes taking place as a result of all the oceanic heating that is going on the, in the Pacific right now uh, also, the jet stream may be affected by this as well in some ways. Look at all the crazy storms in the Midwest as far as the East Coast <laughs> as well. <coughs> Any other theories, info, links, feedback, ideas, anything is welcome. I am open-minded and will take no offense to, uh, even if it's a contradicting idea, uh, you know, just please rate, comment, give me an idea. Uh, God bless and peace.